Hey, what's going on guys? Okay, uh, so we're back. Uh, I still have the 2010 Toyota Prius. And uh, the complaint was the car has no heat. If you remember on my last video on the same car, I was replacing the coolant temperature sensor because uh, the customer actually tried to do his own diagnosis. And uh, he thought it was because of, you know, the temp sensor not functioning properly. That's why he didn't have heat. He didn't tell me that until I replaced the part. Then he called me later on and said, well, I don't have heat. I say, well, brother, <laughs> it has nothing to do with what we did. So if you don't have heat, don't do your own diagnosis. Call the guy and, you know, let me, let me do my own thing. But anyway, long story short, um, I checked the uh, blend doors, actuators, and, you know, the whole nine, uh, trying to uh, feel for the uh, heater hoses, and they were not getting hot. And I drove the car around, and the car would go up to 200 and almost 20, uh, you know, Fahrenheit, and still no heat. So uh, I told him that I'm, I'm thinking that the, uh, you know, the water pump is not working properly. Uh, this is my first time working on an electric water pump, so I wasn't sure how it, it you know, it, it functioned, what is the uh, strategy behind it. All right, long story short, that was my guess, because by, uh, just by uh, the heater hoses not getting warm, I surmise that there must be no flow, okay? So also he pointed out that the electric water pump was making a noise. He said, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm not sure. It's the first time I'm seeing this thing. I never worked on one, uh, one of these before. So anyway, long story short, uh, just gonna walk you through the diagnosis. Um, I mean, if you have a bi-directional tool, it is, it, is, it is what you wanna have. If you don't, you can still uh, verify it I'm going to show you a way to do that without the bi-directional tool. But with the bi-directional tool, it's just more conclusive. Okay. So we're here with our... Oh, man. That's a lot of glare. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of some of that glare for you guys. All right. That's better. So we're going to go escape because I'm not going there. So we're going to go control unit. Uh, engine and uh, ECT, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, not that, uh, not that slow after all, huh? Active test. And by the way, we already took out the, uh, you know, I already unbolted it, okay? It's really no big deal to take the tire off, by the way. Right there. And you have plenty of access. It's really nothing to it, you know? 12 millimeter bolts, you got about two long ones that's coming from the top, they're gonna to be on the right side, the two long ones, and then everything else is the same uh, the same length. So no big deal at all. So I took it off, and there you go right there, sitting right there. So now we're going, um, the last screen here, activate the electric water pump. We're gonna press that, uh, okay? It's gonna ask us if we want some custom, you go custom list and just escape, because I don't need no data, I don't wanna watch anything at all. I just want to look at the pump. Now, let's observe the pump. It's supposed to be spinning. We got 3,000 RPM right here. Let's press it. Right? I'm trying to look through the camera. That's not going to happen. Making noise. No movement. Nothing is spinning. 100% conclusive diagnosis. Go back here. Escape. Alright, there you go. So that's a bad electric water pump. Even though you don't have a code, because a lot of people say that you have to have, a, I think, a B, a code B261. Oh, that would be the circuitry, you know, but the meaning like the electrical circuit is fine. You can hear the motor behind, but for some reason the propeller is not moving. It's jammed up. Is there any way to fix it? We're going to ask Mr. What is his name again? Um, uh, Pine Hollow Diagnostic. Maybe he can, he can repair these things, you know, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a brand new pump we're going to put on this car and a gasket and all of that and that's what it is so if you ever run across it you know you have this issue with uh, heat and then you feel for the water hoses when the car is warm and you don't feel them getting warm enough uh you know most likely you may have an issue with the water pump but there's no circulation in the, in the system you know so there you have it uh just a little quick video i hope it helps somebody out there okay thank you